I welcome everyone for my second webinar today. I am Juhi Jani and uh, I'll be your host for today. I'm from Zoom abroad and I take care of international marketing and outreach. In my first webinar, uh, we had discussed an overview of the international job opportunities for the students who come and study abroad. And um, today we are going to dig deep and we'll discuss about job opportunities for international students, particularly in Europe and the United Kingdom. So I'll just quickly do a recap uh, for two minutes because uh, for students who haven't attended my first webinar and to get the context in place. So we started with the fact that, um, and I stressed upon it a lot, that it's always important to have a process and a plan. So when you have a process in place, your approach towards anything becomes more structured and more organized and your results are on target. So um, we discussed that and then I discussed the three stages of student life cycle, which is uh, explore while studying and post study. So in explore, I spoke about whenever you're deciding for a country or a course, always look for your uh, things like working rights. Uh, will you be allowed to stay there post your studies or not? or um, what are your other benefits as a student. So always look for these factors while exploring your career options. Second is while studying. When you are while studying, there are two options. Either you can work part-time or you can do internships. So if internship is basically more focused, if you have a previous work experience, you can always use that as internship. If you just want to brush up your skills, you can go for part-time jobs. You, there is also opportunity for freelancing. You can always use your creative skills to do that. And the third and the widest goal is your graduate job. And I think 75% of the international students, they travel abroad to get their career path sorted. And that is, that is why we all are here. And that is why we all will discuss now uh, in detail about every country. So that was about my first webinar. And today we are talking about Europe and the United Kingdom. As I always said, higher education is a key for economic development for any country and every country wants to become economically stable, economically developed and they stress a lot upon the quality of the education they deliver and that is the reason they welcome a lot of international students. So um, let's just begin with that. Okay, uh, one more thing, not just the higher education, also the geography of the country and also the amount of skills needed for the local companies and the international companies which are there in that particular country. That is also very important. So um, considering all these facts, I have shortlisted few countries for you all within Europe, uh, which can give you an idea that what all job opportunities you can explore once you choose to study here. So let's just quickly go to our first country, which is the United Kingdom. Now, the United Kingdom is the fifth largest economy in the world and it is the second favorite destination for your students after USA. Now, why it is second favorite? Yes, because it has a long heritage of education, but also uh, it has very diverse job sector. Uh, and uh, we'll discuss about job sectors later when I'll come to that, but let's just talk about your rights in the United Kingdom. So while you're studying, you can work for 20 hours in a week uh, during the term time, and you can always work full time during your vacation. But if you are studying uh, in a degree which is lower than the bachelor's degree, then you can only work for 10 hours during the term time and full, um, but, 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 sorry, yes. Um, also, it is based on the university approval. So not many universities give approval for uh, the bachelor students to work. So it's based on the discretion of university. Now there's one good news for you students. Now in 2016, what happened? The UK government, they did, they ran a pilot scheme for, with four universities, which was Cambridge, Oxford, University of Bath and Imperial College. So students graduating from these universities, they could stay here, post their studies for six months and they could look for jobs. And now they have, in 2018 intake, they have extended this scheme for 23 other UK universities, which I believe it's a great news for all of you, because if you get through any of these universities, you can stay back after your studies for six months, 
look for ample of job opportunities. So um, coming to your full-time job, which is graduate jobs, we discussed it while studying, uh, your rights while studying, but your full-time jobs, there are basically two types of graduate jobs. One is the graduate schemes, which is being run by big organizations, uh, multinational companies. And these large organizations, they, they're always looking for the influx of talent, continuous influx of talent. But the only thing is, one, the competition is fierce. And second, the application of these graduate schemes, they start way in advance, almost a year in advance. So you should be really, um, proactive in uh, keeping an eye on these graduate schemes. And if you need more information of that, you can always uh, send us a message. Zoom Abroad will be more than happy to help you with, telling, uh, with helping you with the types of graduate schemes available with different companies. And the second type of graduate job is called as direct entry. So maximum number of jobs are available in direct entry. And uh, these are offered by small and medium sized enterprises. But with both these things, you have to have a sponsorship. So the company needs to sponsor you to stay in the United Kingdom. And after the sponsorship, um, you are eligible to work here. Uh, so there are different types of visas. So my colleague Tanu uh, is taking a webinar on the visa and she'll be talking in details again with every countries. So uh, it's a great thing for you also you guys to join that. So talking about the job sectors in the United Kingdom. Now, uh, there are three major industries which run the economy of this country, which is agriculture production and services. Now services is the key of the economic growth of this country. So uh, banking, insurance and business services are driving the economy of this country basically. And they always keep on recruiting a lot of people um, and there are a lot of opportunities for, uh, for you guys if you have the right qualification, right skill and right attitude. But there's also, um, you know, every country has a list of jobs which they are always in shortage of. So they, so we call it as a growth recruiting sector. So in the United Kingdom, uh, if you are basically from STEM background, so what do I mean by STEM background? If you are from science, technology, engineering and mathematics, if you are from these four backgrounds, your chances to get a job here increases four times. Also, uh, service sector is always recruiting people. I said that they run the economy of the country, so they are always recruiting people. Healthcare is another sector which is always short of staff. So if you are um, a, a, a doctor or a, a, a radiographer or a, or a pathologist or nurse, um, it is a great um, opportunity to, for you to stay and work in the United Kingdom. So United Kingdom, many of its cities are the international business hub of the world. So the opportunity is never ending for the right candidate. So if you have UK in your list, go for it. So our second thing is to discuss European countries. Now there are 44 European countries and based on their employability factor, based on their quality of the education, based on how international the universities in these countries are, I have shortlisted five major countries for you to give you a perspective. What can be your option to go there and work post you finish the studies in this country? So coming to it, our first country is Ireland. Now talking about Ireland, Ireland is the favorite country for international students to go and study there. So for, for many reasons. Now Ireland, uh, Irish degrees are very much aligned to the industry needs which makes Irish graduates highly employable. So if you have an Irish degree, that means your chances to be employed in a big organization increases tenfold. Second reason of Ireland being a favorite destination is the working rights. So while studying, you can work for 20 hours during term time. But once you are done with your studies with bachelor's degree, you can stay for almost a year in Ireland and look for a suitable job. Um, for postgraduate, you can stay for two years in the country until the time you find a suitable job for you. Now, uh, Telecommunication, information technology, 
pharmaceutical, applied sciences and finance are the major key drivers of the country and they recruit a lot of highly skilled immigrant students. Also, uh, if you are look, you're seeing a lot of brands and I don't think none of, if you can't recognize any of these. So Ireland is also a hub of uh, European Union and EMEA, which is Europe, uh, Middle East and Africa for all these bigger organizations, be, is, be it um, Facebook, Google, Twitter, Apple. So they have all their head offices based in Ireland and they employ graduates, Ireland, Irish graduates like anything. So um, you have a great opportunity students, if you want to go study abroad, pick Ireland as your preferred destination. Second thing, if you are a data scientist, a media professional or a digital marketer, Ireland is your place because there are ample of opportunities for you guys to go and build your career here. So um, moving on to next, our country is Germany. Now, Germany is again the third favorite country for international students to come study and work here. This is a powerhouse for European economy. Why? Because it has a very stable economy. Secondly, it has the lowest unemployability rate. So Germany is a place, if you, if you think uh, you are looking for studying abroad and thinking to work the place where you have studied, Germany is again the place. Also the quality of the education and the amount of research and training happens in the university campuses it is of world class. Many of the German universities are in the top university ranking. Also uh, talking about the rights in German universities for non-European Union students, which I believe most of our attendees are today, uh, you are allowed to work 120 days, uh, full days or 240 half days in a year. Um, but post-study, you can stay up to 18 months in that country and look for a proper job. So that is, again, a very, very big uh, plus point for you guys and a decision maker point if you are choosing to study in Germany. Um, very important point, many of the public university in Germany, they don't charge any tuition fee. So education is practically free for you guys. Um, a basic skill of German language is required, but that can always be learned. But if you get through any of the public university, you can study free of course with that quality of education, which is again great. Germany is again a home for many of these big brands, BMW, Audi, Alliance, Siemens, but also a lot of small and medium sized enterprises. They also um, contributing a lot towards the growth of the economy. And that is where your opportunity lies. They recruit a lot of highly skilled Im uh, Im uh, students coming from abroad and um, though they don't offer graduate schemes but if you have some amount of previous experience they will hire you and the growth prospects are amazing uh, again uh, like united kingdom there are certain job sectors which are always shortage of staff they are always looking for people which is information technology engineering pharmaceutical healthcare and manufacturing sector. So again, uh, look for Germany as your option. A lot of opportunities for a right candidate and right skill. So moving on to our next, our country is France. Now, uh, if you are a bachelor student, France might not be a great option for you. But for a postgraduate student, France is definitely a good option to consider. Uh, France is a land of culture and arts. It represents culture and arts in the whole world. Uh, labor laws are very strict in France. So most of the people, they prefer to work contract rather than moving into a full-time employment. Uh, so that is, again, important thing to consider while you are looking for France as a study option. Uh, secondly, uh, while studying, you can uh, work for 964 hours in a year, but based on university's discretion. Again, you have to go check with the university if they allow that or not. 
post study again i said for bachelors it's not a great place to be because you need to have a work permit as in you need to have an employer who employs you before in hand you choose to study you choose a course to study in france but if you have done a post graduate in um, if you are do, uh, planning to do post graduate in france then uh, you can get a temporary residence which is called as aps for 24 months and you can look for a suitable job opportunities for indian students uh, my friend i have a very very good news for you all and i think there are there are a lot of indian students in the crowd today for indian students in 2015 france government to increase the influx of the international crowd especially from india they have given a special two year resident permit for all the indian students again who wants to do their masters now Paris Paris is a um he's it's a world leader for many of the brands uh it is uh, it is great in aerospace uh, ship building uh, chemical and wine uh, cosmetics it's great but um, again uh, the shortage of empl uh, employment is there in the field of engineering uh, research and development banking retail teaching there are a lot of english teaching jobs are available in france if you are good in a language this is your opportunity go seize it also um tourism is a big industry in france it's it's a major part of the economy and a lot of uh, tourism jobs are uh, always in shortage of so if you are a hospitality graduate or if you are a tourism management person france is the place for you to explore your work work options and set your career path moving on to next switzerland now um okay i have my reason to choose switzerland well switzerland is not a great great place to attract international students and uh, recruit them however uh, stu um, switzerland has the highest salaries for uh, for the graduate employees uh the lifestyle as in the quality of life is um amazing in switzerland safe and healthy environment so switzerland is the ideal destination for any students to go and find the job there um however for um, the whole job sector in switzerland is based it's based on the highly skilled labor the country itself has a lot of highly skilled uh, labor so they prefer to employ them first however if you have the right skills and if you have the right knowledge there are opportunities for you to build your career uh, when if you have done a study if you have if you have studied in a swiss university you can again stay for 6 months after completing your studies in the country look for the suitable job opportunities now um, watches cheese and <clears throat> chocolates are the main industry um, for switzerland however uh, most of the export revenue also comes from uh, chemicals uh, metallurgy petroleum uh, and uh, banking so you, switzerland is also the world's major financial center so there are again a lot of opportunities there so service sector in switzerland they employ a lot of uh, highly skilled uh, international graduates international students so again there lies a lot of opportunity for you guys um secondly there are a lot of international organization based in switzerland so if you are into uh, um, a study uh, if you are into a uh, Uh, a ngo or if you want to work for say um um united nations sustainable goals and if you are into say uh, sustainability i think switzerland is again a ideal place for you uh, organizations like world trade um, organization united nations uh, yeah and then um, what do we say it's um, uh red cross all these organizations are based in switzerland so there is a lot of opportunities for you guys to explore and uh, pick switzerland again as your international study destination so our last country for today is netherlands netherlands again is amongst the favorite country for students to pick for the international study options so reason being the same it has a very stable economy and uh, 
lowest unemployability rate. Well, uh, it's a little higher than Germany, but again, lowest unemployability rate. Um, it is an export-led economy, and basically, uh, petroleum, uh, petroleum refinery, uh, quality. Uh, sorry, sorry, chemical and petroleum refinery uh, are the important industries in Netherlands. Talking about the working rights. If you are studying, you can study for, uh, say, if you can, you can work for 10 hours during the term time and full time during the vacation. I think this is the standard. It goes with um, every country. Uh, but uh, once you are done with your studies, you can stay up to 12 months uh, in the country and look for the job. And uh, while you're looking for the job, in case if you find an employer, um, you can always switch to the change of purpose. So the employer has to give you in writing the change of purpose and you can submit that in the embassy and you can get the visa changed. Um, again, uh, Netherlands, there um, uh, the growth recruitment sectors here are um, information technology, uh, engineering. So because I said it's, it's export-led uh, economy, a lot of... Uh, Chemical industries, a lot of uh, metallurgy industries are there. Um, Rotterdam is the biggest port in the world, which is based in Netherlands. So uh, engineering uh, graduates have a great opportunity here. Healthcare, again, healthcare, um, if you are a qualified nurse or a doctor, again, healthcare is one of the very important uh, uh, recruiting sector in Netherlands. Now, creative students, a lot of startups um, are there in Netherlands. So if you uh, are into the creativity like um, web designing or uh, um, copywriting, I think you have a great opportunity here in Netherlands also. Um, agriculture is being uh, uh, the sole uh, key driver also agriculture is again the big thing in Netherlands so if you are uh, into agriculture or environmental uh, courses um, Netherlands is again a very very good options so with this we come to the end of our webinar I hope it was informative um, there are there's so much of information so it's difficult to sum it up in a half an hour webinar however i'm more than happy to take your questions online offline you can always drop in a message on our facebook page you can connect with me on linkedin uh, you have my linkedin um, um, id here you can email it to me on juhi.jani at the rate zoomabroad.com and i am open to take the question in case if you have any okay so i have a question here uh, the question is what do you think uh, the effect on brexit will be uh, on the international job opportunities for students okay okay first thing it's a very good question and i think it's the it's the basic question and it's a it's a it's a point of concern, isn't it? It's a point of concern for all the students. So um, you know, right now it's very early to predict the effects of Brexit. However, uh, all the bigger companies and the recruiting agents they they are saying that the job market is promising. They are saying that a lot of jobs uh, opportunities will be created in coming years. However. At this point in time, it's too early to say um, what are uh, going to be the replications of Brexit or any uh, positive effects of Brexit because right now we are in a very we are in a transition stage. So a very good question. Um, uh, we will be uh, up, uh, you know uploading the new uh, latest news related to Brexit. Um, on our website so keep following our website uh, keep following us on uh, our social media do uh, follow our hashtags so we will keep you updated with the industry news we also will also keep you updated about what is new happening in the education world so um, stay tuned guys it was wonderful interacting with you and i look forward to to uh, seeing you all in my next webinar um, i'll be talking about 
USA and Canada, again, the preferred destination for students to study. We'll dig deep into the kind of job opportunities available while studying and post-study. So um, I think uh, we are done for today. If there are any questions, um, I'm free to take. Um, we have a couple of minutes to go. So if you have any questions, I can address it. Okay, I guess there are no more questions for today. Um, all right then, so uh, it's time to sign off. You guys take care and I'll see you all in my next webinar.